Hi all, this is Ashish Shal here. Welcome again to Elliot Wave News Channel by WaveStrategy.com, and uh, we are going to discuss about uh, the state of the market right now. Uh, what is happening currently? Uh, even uh, when there were a couple of divergences and resistance, Nifty has continued to drift uh, higher because of a few stocks that has been uh, leading the index. Uh, the market valuation remains at an exorbitant high levels. Uh, which we have not seen in the past and uh, which we have seen only for uh, prior two occasions and uh, this time again uh, the valuations are way too expensive there will be a lot of logical reasoning and a uh, lot of justification for such high valuation because that's the only logical way to explain the market irrational exuberance that we are witnessing uh, nevertheless uh, uh, if you are following a trend following method or a system you will stay in the trend unless and until there is a confirmation that the support levels are taken out. So that's a very, very important aspect that one has to look at. If you are practicing uh, technical analysis, you understand that following the trend is uh, the key in uh, order to be on the right side of the market. So what has been happening is with each every rise, uh, the markets are definitely getting expensive. There is no second thought about it, but there is no negative price confirmation. So prices are the most important aspect that you can look at unless and until there is negative price confirmation it is best to avoid catching a top so last time we talked about 11600 but that level was taken off with a gap and nifty opened above 11600 and continue to rally in this entire week so that continues to show that uh, the overall trend still remains positive uh, unless and until we see break of the important support levels so only after the break of support levels we will know that a reversal has been happening and during such times, it is best to uh, probably use the trend following method like uh, confluence of moving averages, which I am going to share across in this uh, webinar, like which moving average to select and uh, how can these two moving averages be used together in order to identify whether the trend has been reversing or the trend is continuing right now. So it's a very simple method, but a very effective way in which one should use uh, technical analysis. Uh, and this also helps in identification of the wave count. So if you look at uh, the entire swings in which we will plot uh, two averages and try to identify, it helps in identification of the wave count as well. So the, the strength lies here in using anything and everything that has been working in the market uh, and, and trying to figure out what is the Elliott wave pattern. So by doing that, we are able to get a very high conviction trade setup. Uh, the trend for now is positive, but at the same time, we remain extremely cautious because uh, even when markets are at the new highs, not every stock is participating. So if you are holding, say, 10, 15 different stocks, only a few are participating. And the major reason why the markets have been high are few heavyweights like Reliance Industries, TCS, Infosys. Uh, these are the few names that I have been talking have re resulted into a huge up, up move. Uh, in our multi-bagger research, we have talked about IT stocks, we have talked about Reliance um, a year back, and if you look at those uh, stocks, they have performed exorbitantly well. So that's the power of uh, identifying the stocks that are starting the third impulse or the fifth impulse on the upside, and we keep publishing them in our uh, multi-bagger research report. You can get more information on that from the website wavestrategy.com. Uh, let's now focus on Nifty again and try to see uh, what is the overall trend of the market uh, by using confluence of moving averages and how you can use those moving averages to design or develop a system that can help you to enter and exit as well to some extent. It's a lagging indicator, no doubt, but it helps you to be in the trend unless and until a reversal is confirmed. So let me just share across my screen here. Uh, okay, if you can look at the daily chart, we discussed about the channel resistance. So the resistance is still very much there, the big resistance which we have talked about. However, uh, because of the length of the trend line, there is a possibility we can always have a, a swing of more than 100 points because uh, it's a very, very big trend line since 2016 onwards. So in such a big trend line and channel, uh, you need to give certain leeway. That's very important. Uh, and uh, if you try to now go and try to look, zoom in, I'm drawing in another blue channel. So this is a blue trend line over here, uh, and, uh, the lower trend line connecting the lows. And uh, today's low was exactly again on uh, the lower trend line. And these are the highs. So this is again a very important channel which is being shown on the Nifty Daily chart. 
and if you cover, convert this into an hourly chart uh, you will be able to see uh, the overall swing so since the swing which started from 10558 odd levels on the downside uh, there has been not a single uh, lower high and a lower low formation so that's our classic dow uh, dow uh, theory indication uh, if you look at it price went down it went up here in this zone but it did not break the low so their lower high lower low was still not there and uh, that has been the most important aspect that one has to look at currently we are witnessing some correction on the downside but this fall is very slow compared to the prior rise and unless until we see a faster fall below the last rising segment it confirms that the trend has not reversed yet so let me go on the daily chart and uh, there are two averages if you see here i'll probably change the parameters of these averages in order to see a short term trend and how can we use both the averages together to identify the trend so if i just change the short term average say somewhere around to the zone of 20 right now if i use that 20 average and uh, the shorter average which is there let me change it to a very small uh, figure which is say somewhere around in the zone of 5 so if i change this figure to short term averages it helps us to identify each of the swings now these are the two averages which i have identified how to how to identify the averages uh, is again a different uh, uh, concept altogether but over here if you look at it i have identified two different averages so let me make it 5 for simplicity and 20 so over here i'll make it 20 and uh, i'll make it 5 the other average okay and now if you look at this uh, this is a very simple system that you can develop if you look at this over uh, here the entire move on the upside had been ongoing when the 5 days average has traded about the 20 days average which is the red average is trading above the blue average the entire trend remains on the upside uh, when the crossover happens then we see at least for few uh, days or weeks the trend reverses on the downside okay uh let us try to understand this now with more swings over here this was the first leg on the upside uh which is way way that we have discussed before then after the move happened on the downside we can clearly see an overlapping correction in the form of wave b then there was an up move again in the form of probably wave c and this entire swing of c uh, was because the five day average is continued to stay above the 20 days uh once that was complete the next move was swing on the downside straight bearish unless we saw a decisive break above the shorter above the bigger moving average so the, each of the swings over here if you look at it has been in that way it has been it has worked out beautifully well each of the swings have continued to be in uh, that direction unless we see a reversal in the moving average so if we follow that method then we again saw a decisive swing on the upside which is currently ongoing in this wave and in this entire move we have not seen prices uh, forget about the moving average is not even prices have fallen below the 20 days average and in fact the 5 days average is also helping uh, to provide some kind of a support so that shows that the trend on the upside has been steep so far we have not seen a decisive close in prices below both of these averages and that's why the entire swing still remains intact so this is one very basic method in which you can use in order to increase the accuracy of your system if you are already having a system if not you can rely on this method to to lot of extent and combine it with other indicators like maybe roc or rsi combine it with channels so that you know what to do next and then ride the swing all the way on the up or the down side the other method that you can use is probably the bar technique which we have discussed you can look at the weekly bars and try to identify yourself if you are looking at a weekly bar chart what do you see you just have to try to identify the highs and the lows of the weekly bar and keep a watch on the close if you can find something using the weekly chart and uh, identify something then please post it across on the traders forum on our website base strategy.com and it would be i'll be more than happy to see uh, what you come out with and there can always be learning for everyone so over here as long as the red moving average sustains above the blue one it's prudent to avoid catching a top uh, the reason being we have been seeing an up swing in the form of a euphoria or the mania and during such times it is best to stay in the direction of the trend 
unless and until we see a confirmation so even when 11600 is broken out we are still standing around 11680 so nothing much has happened nevertheless price have broken above it went down came down so you need to be quick in booking the profits in this kind of a market you need to be fast in booking the profits wait for the opportunity on the downside again go and buy on dips again be quick to book the profits at the same time use a very very strict stop loss because when the reversal will happen it's going to be sharp and fast it's not going to give you much time to think because uh, suddenly the buying will get thin and there is a reversal even a small selling will result into a reversal so uh, once the buying gets thin the volume starts slowing down and then the reversal starts happening so the market continues to be in the matured up move this is what looks like however at the same time we should not be very much uh, uh, pessimistic because unless until there is the system which confirms the reversal is happening either by formation of a lower high and a lower low on an hourly chart or by a short term moving average moving below the long bigger moving average or by seeing a faster retracement of the last rising segment it is best to stay in the direction of the trend for now uh, we are entering again a very important week i think there is some going to be volatility which is going to increase uh, the only few stocks that have been leading has started showing some some kind of a, a profit booking at the higher levels and that's the reason it's going to be what should be staying alert at the same time one should stay in the direction of the trend unless we see a faster retracement of the last rising segment uh, that's it from my side today i hope you will follow this small system of uh, moving averages implement it share across your charts post it and treat this webinar as an educational purpose not as uh, taking a position on monday itself treat it as an educational purpose follow your strategy write down on a piece of paper what are you going to do on a monday share it across and i'll be more than happy to share my views what i think is going to be the uh, uh overall trend of the markets uh that's it from my side uh, in case you would like to get access to the daily research report in which i apply all of these methods that i am discussing in the webinars you can get access to financial wave short term research report which is an equity daily research report uh in case you would like to build your own portfolio of stocks that has uh, potential to give uh, good returns over the period of 1 to 2 years you can subscribe to multibagger research report and uh, nevertheless in case you would like to know what's happening with commodities you can get access to commodity research or intraday positional advisory that's it from my side see you again same time next week this webinar will be available at 5 on the website wavestrategy.com in case of any doubts or queries you can reach out to me on 9924222202 or write to us at helpdesk at the rate wavesstrategy.com thank you see you again next week and uh, have a wonderful weekend